Do you, do you ever think about aliens, like what they might look like? I try to, when I, I deal with thought experiments like these, I try to keep a very abstract uh, mindset. And I notice that whenever uh, I try to instantiate these abstractions, I I corrupt whatever thoughts uh, there are for which they're useful. So it's kind of like the labels discussion. So like the moment exactly. you try to make it concrete, it's probably going to look like some cute version of a human, a big like it's the little green fellas with the with the eyes and so on, or whatever. Whatever the movies uh, have instilled, like your cultural upbringing, you're going to project onto that and the assumptions you have. Exactly. That's interesting. So you prefer to sort of step away and think and abstract notions of what it means to be intelligent, what it means to be a living life form, and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I try to. I almost try to pretend I'm I'm blind and I'm deaf and I'm only. Um, a mind with no inductive reasoning capacity when I'm trying to think about uh, thought experiments like these, because I know that uh, if I incorporate whatever my eyes uh, instruct my brain, I will uh, I will impede my ability to think as deeply as possible. Because once again, it's the, the thing which shallows our thought can be the incorporation of circumstance and coincidence. And for particular kinds of thought, that's very important. I'm not discounting the use of inductive reasoning um, in many humanities and in many sciences, but for the deepest of thoughts, once again, I, I, I feel it's important to try to transcend whatever uh, methods of observation characterize human experience. See, but within that, that's all really beautifully put. I, I wonder if there is a common mathematics and a common physics between us and alien beings, we still have to make concrete the methods of communication. Yeah. Uh, and that's a fascinating question of like, while remaining in these abstract fundamental ideas, how do we communicate with uh, them? I mean, that, I suppose that question could be applied to different cultures on Earth. <laughs> but it's f finding a common language. Uh, do you think about that kind of problem of basically communicating abstract fundamental ideas? My least favorite aspect of math or physics or any of these really deep sciences is the symbolic component. You know, I'm I'm dyslexic. I don't like looking at at symbols. They're too often a source of, of ambiguity. And I think you're entirely right that if one thing holds us back with um, communication with something that, that, that behaves or, or looks nothing like us, I think if one thing holds us back, uh, it will be symbols and the communication of deep thought. Because as I said, I think communication frequently compromises thought uh, by intention or by just uh, theoretical inadequacy.